Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I have a product video for you. Um, some of them are bought and some of them are gifted. They were sent to me by a friend. So it's a mixture. Um, old favourites, newbies. I've been using some of them, so there's quick reviews as well. Um, no particular order. I'm wearing one of them today, which is, well I'm wearing two actually. Um, and you'd have seen them on the video. The first is a primer, it's the Blur Primer from Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Touche Clair Blur Primer in the Peach Apricot colour. Um, very, it has quite a strong silicon feel which I quite like and adheres to the skin beautifully so it really smooths the skin out. I adored the scent because it reminded me of the products when I worked for Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it impressed me, I quite like it and this was one that was sent to me, gifted to me. Um, yeah, um, it's impressed me because I've not really used a lot of primers. I sort of got hooked on the W7 Princess Potion and that's all I've ever used but I like almost the autumnal winter feel of a good suction primer and yeah there we have it over the top i put this this is um rosy for autographs so this is rosy hunting ting huntingly hunting tingly can't remember you know she goes out with jason statham gorgeous girl beautiful model um and this is her range for marks and spencers sheer finished complexion enhancer in beige again this was a gift from my friend um and i really like it i'm wearing it i have got concealer as well because it is very subtle but it's not watery in its consistency it has quite a lot of substance which i like to say it's just a tinted moisturizer um, I like the shade it blends away so you're not aware of it but it leaves a lovely even coverage and these two together this really glues everything on um, so you kind of have to work quite quickly with your products to get them evenly moved around the face before they're properly suctioned on but yeah I really like them new foundation um there's one in a summer color and one in a winter color we have 112 peach and 106 silk and it's the ciate extraordinary foundation this is radiant buildable coverage foundation it's a sort of satin finish um i find one pump is quite good coverage i'd say medium coverage the only thing i do find is if i have any dry patches it really accentuates them now it's not a matte foundation but it's not a sort of silky glossy foundation either. I love the coverage, I love the feel, the longevity is amazing. I like the shades um, but yes, just not great. If you have dry skin you may have to sort of be a bit wary of this one, may have to make it work for you but what I've used it for when my skin's been good I've been very impressed with and it is cruelty free. Um, for people who like to know these things and it's made in Italy and Italy makes some great makeup so those I bought um, this was a bit of a, a journey because I ordered it and then the wrong item arrived and I had to send the wrong item back and had to wait for this to come but this is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara the packaging is astounding I love it it's very metallic but it's also extremely heavy not one to take on your travels with you. I'm wearing it today. I put it on my lashes without any primer to see what it was like. Um, we'll see. It's okay, creamy, it's rich. The wand, I kind of expected a bit more of the wandage going on, but I like how it feels on my lashes. I'm looking forward to seeing how it lasts throughout the day. Um, it separated, it lengthened, it bulked. And I adore the packaging, but it is heavy. Um, just a lovely metal finish to it. More to come on that one. Um, this, another foundation uh, gift from my friend. I've never used it. It's by Terry Light Expert Click Brush. Illuminating Flawless Foundation Brush. It's Peach Beige number 5. Um, I adore the brush. There's just something about it, it really works on the face, it's a good size to work all the areas and the colour, I wasn't sure whether it'd be great, a treat. Beautiful finish, it does have that by Terry scent about it which I'm not keen on 
but I can overlook it because the base looked amazing um very very impressed nice finish it does give a sort of a sheen a glow to the skin without it being glossy it's just a healthy look to the skin and i love the ease of it all being there foundation brush you're done um my friend previously sent me you remember the Lemur foundation which I loathed and then completely and utterly loved because of the shade and she'd got another shade in Shell um, which I really like yes it works for me but you can't be the natural neutral one because of its grey tone that's the thing that really sold it to me but I do like this now it works for me I found an application method that works a treat beautiful beautiful finish um spf of 20 a great foundation just the most ridiculous price i really do not understand how they can charge what they do for their products when their ingredients are as simple as simple can be um, but an outstanding foundation this i have used on and off for years they repackaged it i don't like the stumpy stodgy bottle that it is now but it still does what i want it to do it's actually a thermal rehydrating serum from vichy um when i don't use it i miss it even though i have other products that do a nice job this i always think oh i miss vichy so i've gone back to it it's 48 hour rehydration dewy skin renewed skin texture replump fine lines it does make my skin better and it soothes and it calms and it doesn't irritate my rosacea and i love it so i have two then they also sent this which they are massively plugging and i kind of worry is this going to sort of replace that but this is the mineral 89 um daily booster fortifying and plumping never big on the plumping word i think that's a bit of a misnomer to be honest but i have that to try as a sample adore this can't recommend it enough it's just great lightweight it does absorb in straight away which i know is unlike me to like a product that does that because i like it all sticky and sloppy and greasy but i love this because it's great for sensitive skin right um this i adore v beauty london i've adored her cleansing balms for a long time then my skin obviously did what it did and i had to say no to essential oils um and it's funny how sort of brands sometimes take offense when you say actually i can't use your products anymore it's not personal i just can't but v beauty london fabulous brand if you want a lash serum don't go spending tons of money great lash and brow serum great cleansers great body oils it's all there for you there will be a link below i'm not being paid to say that by the way i just love the products um this is the pure cleansing balm so the blesser sort of realized that there's a lot of people out there who like myself are suddenly surprised one day that they can't use things with essential oils in and she's created this which is the pure cleansing beauty balm no added essential oils um it has coconut oil it smells of coconut i love it shea butter olive oil beeswax and vitamin e and it's cruelty free um I absolutely love it. it comes in this tin it does come boxed which I could do without to be honest I could do without extra packaging but I get why she has to do it it's got to come in the post tins get dinted that kind of thing she's got to protect it it's this lovely buttery consistency now the less you use you don't need a lot to remove makeup a tiny scoop will get all this off and break it all down but it is a very hard working cleanser and when i say that i mean it's very heavy going so it has that goose fat aspect to it that if you do a big finger scooping over your face it does have almost that waterproof texture you do need to really work at removing this and that's why i love it because it makes you clean and cleanse your face properly a toweling cloth for me is the only way the less you use you don't get as much waterproof factor but it does still have the substance to it it's not a lightweight gel like that you put on your face and water and it's gone you have to work at this to get this off but it leaves your skin oh my god 
so smooth, so clean, it's refreshed, it doesn't irritate and it smells blinking amazing. I love coconut. Not heavily sweetly scented, it's a sensible, normal coconut smell. Um, I love it. Great value as well. If you like your cleansing balms and you think, oh, you can only get great quality from high end, you know, have a look. Seriously, there are some great balms out there that don't cost a fortune. So great love for this, which I'm using on an evening. It's my first cleanse. Then I follow it with the simple oil cleanser. So that's from V Beauty London. And I bought that. I have had PR before from V, but I bought this. So two favourites. There's the clue. I do love these. I find them very, very useful. Um, stretch concealer. Now, I love my Glossier stretch concealer. When I bought it last, they still had the light, medium, dark, and I think very dark. They've altered all their shades. Now, when I checked online, when I was deciding, they told you the alternative. So if you like the medium, buy this one. That's not there anymore, so you kind of have to do your homework. However, I had medium previously, and I was recommended G9. And they have a range under the medium heading. And I have to say, when I looked at my old medium and the new one, they are just about the same. So back to Stretch Concealer, which I love. Um, I do love the Revolution Fast Base, but sometimes I just want a little bit more creaminess and Glossier offered me that. So stretch concealer, great, doesn't sit in the fine lines, it doesn't crease, you can use it on the face as well, you don't just have to use it as a concealer. Right, now this, they've doubled the size but they've kept the price the same. So you get 30 mils for the price that you got the 15 mil, brilliant. And it's Glossier Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. I do like Glossier. There's a lot of things in Glossier I really, really love, and that's one of them. I haven't had the other serums because I just haven't had a need for them, but they do have two others as well. And that's, that's it. That's the lot. Right, thank you for watching. I hope you're all well. Um, and I look forward to your comments, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.